Andy joins us this morning. Hello, Andy. Morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. That sounds like a dejected man, Andy. Uh, to relive that story, does it, do you still have nightmares about what happened? I learned so many life lessons, like, because, <laughs> like, there was no signal, emergency contact. Like, I'm so prepped if I'm put in a similar situation. Oh. I'm pretty thankful for it, but at the time, man, I was, like, questioning why the hell am I in the middle of the desert right now? Andy, what, what was going through your head? A 13-hour drive to somewhere you'd never been before. Why? It was horrible. Like, I just wanted to go on an adventure. Yeah, but it was a Mercedes sedan, Andy. Do you not think maybe <laughs> looking back it would have been a bit smarter to maybe you got a four-wheel drive, maybe ask for a RAV4? No, definitely. So let's pretend, for all intents and purposes, that everything went to plan. What was the idea? If you made it to the movie set, you just got to bump into Chris Hemsworth, go, hey, get my air-conditioned Mercedes, let's go get a milkshake. Like, what? <laughs> So in my plan, like when I was sort of fantasizing what would have happened, was I would have rocked up to town, uh -huh, yep. I would have seen, I would have asked around, I would have seen people on the film crew, I would have seen cars driving towards the film set, I would have probably followed one of these trucks and follow all the way down to the film set. There's like security guards, I'll roll down my sort of window and they'll be like, OK, 